Okay then, finally we're gonna talk a little bit about the backplate of the flex guitars. As you've seen, the flex guitar is a hollow body type construction which have a resonance backplate that allows the guitar to breathe and gives it part of that really airy, warm tone that we're all so familiar with. So to remove, to access the electronics of the guitar, like in this case with the PS or everything, we need to remove the backplate. And this is again where your uh, wrench comes in handy. It's the same size wrench, the same wrench as you used for uh, accessing the cross rod. So there are five screws back here, loosen them one by one, like so. One here, put that to the side. Two, three, four, and five. Now, let me show you something here. There are two various lengths of screws for the flexible guitars. One shorter, one longer. The shorter ones, there are three of the shorter ones. Those goes on the top nut, the top locking here, top lock, and then the other two shorter ones goes on the top side of the guitar. The side that goes up towards your head, so to say. And the longer ones are supposed to go on these two holes down here, down towards the floor, down towards your gut. So make sure that you do place them in the correct order to have the most you know, secure lock of the back plate. So everything just fits nicely and you don't over tighten something and break something. So then you take the same wrench that we used before and you see all these small holes here that allows the guitar to breathe. Those are also the ones you access and hook with this one. Pull it in there, fits perfectly within there, and then just very carefully just edge the plate up. Going through all these holes at regular intervals all around. At first, like the first time you use it, it's, it's gonna be quite tight, so don't push, don't pull or push or with any excessive force. Because then you can break the small, you know, the small parts in here around the edge. So it's not supposed to be something you have to really use a lot of force. It's rather nudging it up until you feel it release. So there it's off. And then I just lift this off like so. You see that's the inside of it. That's my 9 volt battery compartment there. And then we have access to the actual inner workings of the flash the guitar. Up here we have the neck set in. Here we have the pickup cavities from the top here, so they're enclosed in the actual material. And we have the four mounting posts here, and then we have all the electronics and the resonance cavity here. So just be really careful when you access the back plate, taking care to not to break. See, there's small, small sort of tongues here that uh, stick around the edge of the backpack like so and holds it in place so you don't want to twist and turn too much because then you might break these off and then you will have a not as good a fit of the back plate so uh, that's all you really need to do and then you can just you know if you need to change a pot that might be scratched or want, even want to change pickups or whatever type of electronics works you want to do with the guitar this is the way you do it and of course, if you're at all uncertain of how these things work with guitar electronics, better off handing it in to a guitar technician. So then put, to put it back, put it back in, in, I gently push it all the way around the edges. I usually begin with this front plate here, putting that down, not all the way hard, but just so it's secure. And then you just sort of go all the way around like this gently until I feel all the edges go down then I can just use my thumbs and push it down all the way like so then I take my screws and remember short one up here just tighten it 
moderately. You don't have to tighten it like crazy. Short one up here. Short one up there. And then the long ones. And the final long one there. The back plate is slightly thicker here, so that's why the, the screws are slightly longer there. So, turn it over and you're done. So, that's it for removing the back plate of the Flexwood guitars. Okay then, so that's it for me, Richard Landmark, for this Flexwood care and maintenance video tutorial for you. I hope you've enjoyed the show and learn a lot about how to take care and set up your flexible guitar for the optimum performance. And I'll see you around. Bye bye.